Rick Santorum is a former senator. Uh, you know what it's like to serve in the Senate. You know what it's like to serve in the Congress. Why wouldn't he be a good uh, Republican nominee? Because he's very liberal. He, oh, I mean, have you looked at his record? Uh -huh. <laughs> Go look at his record. <laughs> Spends too much money. I mean, he wasn't leading the charge to slash the budgets and vote against big government. And he voted to double the size of the Department of Education. He voted to expand Medicare and add free drugs for senior citizens. And he's voted for foreign aid. Those are not conservative principles. Seventy-seven percent of the American people are opposed to foreign aid. And Rick Santorum's voted for it every time it's come down. Too often, this is what it seems like in Washington. But to get things done, you've got to work together. I teamed up with Joe Lieberman to make college more affordable for low-income families. And Barbara Boxer and I wrote a law protecting open space. I'm even working with Hillary Clinton to limit inappropriate material in children's video games. Because it makes more sense to wrestle with America's problems than with each other. I'm Rick Santorum, and I approve this message. I've heard people say that they think Arlen Specter's a liberal. Well, let me tell you, as a member of the Senate leadership, Arlen Specter was the key vote, not just in supporting the president's tax plan that created jobs and has revived this economy, but in getting the votes necessary to make that passage possible. Arlen is with us on the votes that matter to move our agenda forward for this president and for the country. I'm proud to endorse Arlen Specter. But if we all agree that people should be allowed to do that which it empowers them or pleases them the most, would you fully support the choice? I don't agree with that. Hold on, I don't agree with that. I don't believe that people should be empowered to do what pleases them the most. This is the mantra of the left, which is, I have a right to do what I want to do. And that is not the kind of freedom that uh, our founders envisioned, and is not the kind of freedom that makes up a society that, that is uh, devoted, as the subtitle of the book says, to the common good. It's an entire culture that focus on immediate gratification and the pursuit of happiness and personal pleasure. And uh, it, is, it is harming America. Right. Try this, try this. The Fed, be careful. You had me at hello. Uh, thank you. The Fed. Uh, well, look, we, we have to have, the, the Federal Reserve has to be focused on one thing and that is inflation, period, and keeping our mm. money sound. You lost me. You lost me. I, I had, uh, here's, I know, the you go. here's the answer. The Fed, <coughs> here. the Fed should have one goal. That's boxing up their crap and getting out. I, I would say with the first quantitative easing that went in place, we were in a very, very risky deflationary environment, and so some quantitative easing made sense. Uh, I believe in the Fed. I believe the Fed is really for a, for a country at this point in, in our uh, development. Uh, going back to gold standard, I think, is just doesn't make any sense to me. And, and so, you know, gold is a very scarce commodity, and, uh, and so tying it to that, I think, is a, is a folly. Isn't this actually an argument that you would also have with some conservatives? Because Absolutely. there are conservatives no who very question. strongly believe in the power in of, fact, the one of the In fact, one of the, yeah, it's a very good point. One of the criticisms I make is to what I refer to as, as more of a, of a libertarian-ish right. You know, the left has gone so far left, and the right, in some respects, has gone so far right that they touch each other. And uh, they come around in the circle. And, and this whole idea of personal autonomy, uh, while I don't think most conservatives hold that point of view, some do. And they, and they have this idea that we should be let, people should be left alone, be able to do whatever they want to do. Government should keep our taxes down and keep our regulation flowing. and that we shouldn't get involved in the bedroom. We shouldn't get involved in cultural issues. You know, people should do whatever they want. Well, that is not how traditional conservatives view the world. And I think most conservatives understand that individuals can't go it alone, that there is no such society that I'm aware of where we've had radical individualism and that it succeeds as a, as a culture.